evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. by a huge uppercut. Ramirez is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Macho. left by Junior. Hey, stay with me here. Teddy, explain this to me. He is not in good shape. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Junior's gone down. Let's see how he recovers from this. Give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Junior Jack by an uppercut. his knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. <laughs> End of that round. And the knockdown was scored. Now, Teddy, the fighter who was floored, how do you treat him? Do you, go, do you go soft on him when he comes back or do you get right in his face? What's the way to approach it? You have to know your fighter. You have to know the temperament of your fighter. Some guys, you know, they just kind of fall up into a ball and they don't come out of it if you get too strong with them. Other guys, they react well to that. So you got to know what he reacts to, first of all. And the most important thing, you have to get information. Why did he get dropped? You had your right hand down, you got hit the hook. Get your right hand up. You'll be okay. How quickly can he recover? That's one of the questions that will be answered early on in this round after being knocked down in that last round. Well, what he has to do is go out there, be defensive-minded. I think get a little time early on. Don't worry about winning or pressing the first part of the round. Just get himself together, then start picking it up after that. Not precise at all by Junior. with the right another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him well he understood that his opponent joe was a slow starter he's jumping right on him taking advantage <laughs> junior's way off the mark that punch didn't have a chance wow a big flush blow the left hand by ramirez left to the body Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Oh, he gets.
was hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. Watch that. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. He missed with that headshot. Hits him in the mug with the right. Round comes to an end. Time, and it just boggles the mind time and time we sit here ringside and we watch guys the ring who right? waste time. The They're out there just going through the motions, not firing off punches. Hey, if you don't move your hands, you don't throw punches, it's hard to win rounds. Stay away from the power, okay? Keep circling away from that power. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep moving. Don't let him get that power shot going. Now listen. We start a new round here. It's hard to believe that we're even in this round based on how that... Ramirez has been hurt. Now put him away. Able to get rid of that one. And now he's targeting upstairs. He just missed that shot up top. Good solid overhand left. Sound defense. Good block that time by Junior. The last thing either guy wants to be here, Teddy, is one-dimensional. The last thing you want to be in anything to be successful is one-dimensional. I mean, if you're a comedian, you don't want to be saying the same jokes all the time. Your crowd's not going to be there. Well, your opponent is going to be there all night long if you do the same thing. A solid uppercut by Macho. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's going to try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on he's going to have a guy in front of him. Ten seconds to go in this round. Junior's right hand working well that time. He scored well. You're letting this get away. Come on now, this is it. You gotta make it a fight now. Keep your guard up, all right? You're not protecting yourself. All right, breathe. Deep breath. Get some water. You good? You all right? Breathe for me. Good. Now listen, you threw a wide punch out there and he caught you. Tighten up your punch. Start of round number four. Fairly close fight with one exception. Macho's scored the knockdown in this fight. He's up two rounds to one. And his opponent cannot really be influenced or panic right now at this stage of the fight because of that. He still has to stay within his fight. Shot by Junior. Well, he may be in bad shape, but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he's able to avoid punches and survive. You know, boxing is a funny business. It's a metaphor for life. You know, sometimes you have somebody outside, and they don't say what they want to say. They have to have a drink. A little alcohol to start saying the things that are on their mind. Sometimes a fight is no different. You know, he gets hurt. And now all of a sudden, all his inhibitions are gone. And now he's doing all the things he's supposed to do because he's not thinking about anything except the things he should have been thinking about. It's automatic. 
And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Junior's got to feel that right there. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. Come on, keep focus. Ramirez is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Good block by Junior. Count down the final moments of this round. And we come to the end of the round, and he really got to his opponent that time, Teddy. He stunned him. Oh, he stunned him. He's hearing a little tweeting going on, a little singing from the birds in his head. Don't take a break with this guy, you hear me? All right, breathe. Deep breath. Get some water. You're good. You're okay. You threw a white punch and he caught you. Tighten up your punch. So this round is underway, and what a difference a break makes for him. Look at how fresh he is to start this round after getting hit hard and rocked in that last round. What a difference a rest makes when the corner knows how to take advantage of that rest. They got water on him, they revived him, they massaged his legs a little bit, gave him some encouragement. Good to go. Macho's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. And he engages in the clinch. Halfway into round number five here. <laughs> Little head hunting with the left. Ramirez is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. He scores the knockout here tonight. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch, can a guy defend, you know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.